Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I'm currently sitting outside on a, I was going to say a bright, dry Sunday, but it's now, as I'm making this video, starting to spit with rain. Um, so I'll just soldier on for the minute and see how far we get. Now, what we're looking at here, uh, my good friends Peter Entwistles kindly sent me a couple of uh, Owari Satsuma cuttings because although I do have a Satsuma that has previously fruited, although it did nothing in 2023, um, it's not a variety that I know the name of. It might well turn out to be an Owari, but um, it was bought originally from uh, one of the Italian suppliers but it didn't have an actual varietal name on it which surprised me from them Oscar Tenturi it came from but this is his these are a couple of scions he's kindly sent me from his Owari and I was in some uh, undecided whether to try and root them um, I've had reasonable success with rooting but the problem I found is the once I've rooted them, they very rarely seem to do much and, or grow much. They're, um, I've not had much luck with the rooted cuttings. So I thought well, what I might do with these and try and uh, graft them onto another citrus. Now, I don't have any suitable standalone rootstocks at the moment. So I thought what I might do is this is one of my um, unnamed variety uh, kumquat, uh, it'll be a Nagami kumquat, it was just one bought from uh, like a big box store or or a nursery or something and it just said kumquat on it and it had oval fruits and I bought it. Now they're not particularly, um, they're not particularly keen to reflower and refruit but they are quite hardy plants so I thought this might make a perfect donor as it's got loads of suitable branches, it might make a perfect donor to use for the time being as um, as it looks pretty healthy as a rootstock to sort of um, if you like nurse the Owari cuttings and then if I want to at a later stage if they do take and grow well I could always air layer them or take them back off the plant and put them onto I could regraft them onto like a, a proper rootstock like a Poncirus trifoliata but for the time being I need to do something with them now otherwise they're going to deteriorate and not uh, not take I want to try and graft them while they're fresh so I think I'll probably just um, find a suitable stem that's the right sort of thickness something like that one whoops sorry something like that one there and I'll simply uh, remove some leaves from the satsuma but from the kumquat even so I can get to it to work on it and I think I'll just use a simple cleft graft, but it should be very easy to match the thickness to the right part of the stem. And I think I, as it's healthy, I'll, I'll graft onto both of those because I'm only just starting to graft plants, which means there's plenty of room for disasters and them going wrong. But at least if I put it on, on a healthy, large established plant like this, there's more likely of energy going into them. And um, as I said, I can then, at a later stage, if I want to, if they do take, I can always air layer them back off and grow them on their own um, roots or move them to a different type of rootstock. So um, I'm going to get on with that. I'm not going to sit here filming it because I'm very, very slow and poor at grafting, but I might just show what I do after I've prepared the uh, scions. Okay, so basically I've just um, wrapped the scion in just a thin thin layer of um, a parafilm. Uh, I don't want to put it on too thick because I need the buds if they do take to be able to grow out. Uh, it's really just to hold the moisture in so that the scion doesn't lose its moisture. And I've left a piece spare at the bottom because I'm going to cut this into a wedge in a minute and uh, cut it and match it up with a uh, a similar cleft I hope on the um, on the rootstock so we'll see what happens well I've done the graft and to be honest it was I've wrapped it up now it was a pretty rough looking graft um, it may or may not take citrus and knots 
particularly noted to be difficult to graft but I'm afraid when you're a complete amateur like me it tends to uh, it's quite likely to be a few failures I've also noticed the slight downside of kumquat is they've got very triangular shaped stems whereas the scions have got have got quite round stems so that might also stop the sides uh, bonding I was thinking of putting a little polythene bag over the top but as I've wrapped the scion and it's going to go back in my summer house which is quite humid um, and the plants are not actively growing at the moment which is of course also isn't ideal for uh, doing grafting but um, we'll see what happens uh, I know Peter Scott will have would have plenty more signs if I wanted to try again if this fails but we can only try and see what happens and if it succeeds all well and good um, I'm not going to bother labeling it because as I'm only doing one type of graph variety at the moment on citrus i'm not going to have to worry about forgetting what they are i can always label them at these at a later stage if i suddenly started doing more grafting so i'm not going to bother filming the second one as well i just thought i'd do the one <coughs> and then one day when my grafting gets good enough i might actually do a proper grafting video and it's now stopped drizzling and the sun's come out which is fantastic so thanks for watching the video much appreciate it please give me a thumbs up Fingers crossed this takes, subscribe to my channel, welcome to share the video and of course click on the bell if you like updates on new videos when they come out. I'll catch up with you all soon. Brett out for now.